It's confession time. Hi, my name is Lila. So lovely to meet you. And in this video, I am going to share some mistakes that I make. No, 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 not made, make. I still make these mistakes, even though I would love to believe that I don't. I would love to believe that I've perfected this craft. That's no, no. I still make mistakes and some of these I should know by now, some of these mistakes I definitely shouldn't be making anymore, but I do and I thought it would be fun, although a little embarrassing, I thought it would be fun to share with you the mistakes that I make, so hopefully you can learn from my mistakes or if you make the same mistakes, just, just know that I'm right there with you. So the first mistake that I make a lot, I've made a lot and I'm still, still, I'm kind of, I'm kind of finally learning is overthinking everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. That is the reason why I haven't put out any vlogs in a very, very long time because I just overthink everything. Like, what do I have to say? Everything I say sounds stupid. Everything I say sounds boring. I am boring. I don't have anything to tell. Maybe I shouldn't do it. Oh wait, this B-roll sucks. Oh no, I shouldn't. I don't know what to do. What is my story going to be? And you just scare yourself so much that you end up not vlogging at all. While the beauty of it is to just document your life and connect with people that are watching your vlogs. And if you want to see the video where I'm sharing how to vlog and it's featuring Cody Warner, if you don't know him, great vlogger. I'll put the link right somewhere up here. I know, I still don't know. After almost one year, I still don't know where the card is. I think it's here. I'm gonna, I think it's here, is it? It's here. <laughs> I think it's here, I don't know. I'll put a card right somewhere up here for you to check out. Confession, I actually watched the video myself before I started vlogging again. And right now I'm actually filming the behind the scenes of this video, which I will also put up. Up here. Did I get it right? The second mistake that I still make, which drives me nuts, but I still do it, is forgetting to set my white balance. I've become better at it, but there are still times where I haven't set my white balance. Now, if you just use auto white balance, most of the time with today's cameras, you'll be fine. But what I do is I am like one day I'm super smart and I set my white balance and then the next time I use my camera, I forget to set my white balance and it's still on the custom white balance from last time. That doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. It is a color correction nightmare. Don't do that. Please, please, please. I think I'm going to put something on my camera saying set white balance because I still keep forgetting it and it's driving me nuts. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I'm actually sweating a little bit right now, like sharing all of this information, sharing all of the mistakes that I still make that by now I should know and not make anymore. It's, uh, it's, um, it's a little bit embarrassing. Okay, so I managed to not overthink the video. I managed to set my white balance and now it is time to put it on the computer. So I import everything on my computer and the way that I work is I put everything locally. So I, I import everything locally and then once I'm done with the project, I put it on my hard drive, on my external hard drive. Now that is mistake number oh three, number oh, that is mistake number oh three, because you should always have a backup of your backup. Yes. Yes. People tell me this all the time. I never listen because I don't have any backups. Fortunately, I have not had any issues so far, but please don't tie on me. I basically have one external hard drive where I put all of my completed files on, so it's, or completed projects on. So it's not even that I have like a copy on my PC and on my external hard drive. I just have everything on my external hard drive. It, it's, it's making me a little bit nervous, as you can tell. Like as I'm talking about it, I think I should make a backup of my backup. I should make a backup of my backup. I should make a backup of my backup, but I, I still haven't done that. I still have not done that. That is my resolution for 2020 is to get another hard drive or some other backup system. Don't be like me. Please make a backup of your backup. 
So now that I started vlogging again, basically what I do is I turn on the camera and I just start talking to you and I just start doing stuff and then I import everything, I put everything on my computer, I start editing, everything looks good, it's time for the music and I realized that I didn't choose my music before I even started the edit or before I even started vlogging. Now this is also one of the things that is just driving me crazy because last time I was editing the vlog, my first vlog, I was just vlogging, then I was editing, and then I needed music. And I was just like, I don't have any music. So I went on to Epidemic Sound where I get all my music and all my sound effects from, and I just started searching and I started searching. And even though their new layout is super intuitive, it takes forever to find a song because you just need that perfect song that fits your video very well. You cannot just slap on any song. You know, it needs to fit, it needs to be good. So my recommendation to you, and I highly, highly, highly suggest doing this because I've been there. I have also been on the good side. I've also been at that point where I actually had my music and then I started editing and everything just worked wonders. It was fast, it was good, I had a pleasant, pleasant experience, but I still make this mistake way too often where I don't have the music before I start filming or editing and it's a pain in the peach. So I definitely suggest to choose your music first, go on Epidemic Sound, get your music and you will be thanking me later. You're welcome. So your video is done, you're ready to upload and you see this little option that says custom thumbnail and I'm like, oh, how did I forget? I cannot tell you how many times, well, I mean, let's just take a look at my channel. So. 44 times I've forgotten to make my thumbnail. And for this video, I haven't made a thumbnail yet. So please, Lila, Lila. If you see this when you're editing, please make a thumbnail. This is the mistake that I still make. I've made it 44 times so far. Every time I make a video, I just think about making the video and I just forget about the thumbnail. Again, my suggestion is please make a thumbnail. Put something on your camera, make a thumbnail to remind yourself to do those things because they're very important. They will save you time. They will save you a lot of frustration, a lot of negative energy. You will be so happy that you've done all of those things. I'm not gonna lie. I am so happy that you cannot see any of the sweat because I'm wearing a very oversized hoodie because this confession time has been a lot, but I hope that you enjoyed the video and I definitely hope that you're not making these mistakes. And if you are making these mistakes, I hope that we can together try to become better YouTube creators because this is definitely not productive or efficient. So I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did, give it a thumbs up and of course, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I upload new videos. And I hope to see you very, very soon. Soon, soon, soon. I don't know what to do with my hands. I just... Oh, I still need to shoot my intro. Ha! Mistake number seven. Forget to shoot your intro. Okay.